All right, it's day 14 here. I know I'm wearing day 13's clothes, probably day 12's clothes as well, but we live in a van. I don't have many clothes, so I don't want to ruin many clothes. So whatever, don't get confused, it's day 14. We got the tables in this morning, and then we got to cut all the faces. And one of the things we learned from last time is put all your drawers in. So what I'm doing right now uh, is mounting this so that it's in its final position, and then we'll have the holes for all the mounting points when we go to actually tie it down at the end. Get gotcha. going. Yeah, let's get going. Let's make it happen. Obviously, we don't want to be painting with all this sawdust on the floor. It'll fly around and get in our paint. So, <laughs> need to clean this all up. It should be fun. Yeah, drawer faces coming together here. So the way I did these is basically we had the drawer set up like this, no face on it. And then I held the face up, spaced it all out, and then nailed it in to the front after I put some wood glue in there. So looking pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, some of them didn't line up. So I'm gonna get them down to where they're even and kind of feather that out across just for the look, definitely not necessary. It's definitely, you know, close, but I'm just gonna clean up some of the edges. There's some edges that are a little close together, so I'm gonna clean those up as well. Here's kind of the final outcome here. Uh, don't pay too much attention to that. It's gonna get all cleaned up with paint, so that's pretty much it right there. Everything lined up pretty decently. These two are fake. This one is like a 12 inch drawer right here. We've got the really deep drawer right here. It goes all the way back there, 20 inches deep. We've got a 14 inch drawer right here. And the nice thing about these is actually that you can sit here and open the drawer all the way and you can still keep your legs on the bench. It's really sweet. So. That's nice. We got another one of those back here. Got another one, another deep drawer right there. And these are the table drawers. You guys have seen this before. And right here, and then obviously the stove and sink will be going in that side, so we couldn't do anything there. But we've got faces here. We've got these all on hinges. This. It's pretty exciting. So I have this one taped right here. But this, I'm gonna make a little latch system up top. And then it's gonna be like a kind of drawer setup that drops down into a standing desk. And then there'll be storage back in here, maybe for camera stuff or whatever. Really good amount of storage in either way. It's about 24 inches deep. Up top here, same thing, about 24 inches deep. Tons of storage. Right here is the refrigerator drawer, which I have yet to add some supports between right here just to keep it more sturdy. But that's pretty nice. And then down here, nails through the train. I took a lot of times to just make sure I was getting the tray straight on these. But we have the toilet tray. That is pretty darn cool that it worked out that well. Adjusted the tops a bit, so those are a bit cleaner. And started doing the magnets up here. I just actually recently did these little sections right here, which are basically the false faces for the backs, because you can't have a drawer that opens that far back. A lot of adjusting, a lot of micro stuff. And then this actually came out very, very decent right here. So the van is starting to look like it hopefully will in its final form. 
that's it. That's pretty much what we did today, so. See you tomorrow. Is this thing on? A bit of a weird one today, because we didn't really film that much. This is just one of those stages where it's literally like, I don't really think you guys wanted to see me put together magnets and drawer slides all day. Things have to get worse before they get better, but we are quickly approaching the painting stage. So that's day 14 in the books. I'm probably gonna get some shots of the van around here. So you guys will probably see that now. Alright guys, I know you didn't see much of me yesterday, so we figured I'd do the intro today just to uh, show you I'm still around. But Seth did a great job mounting all the hardware, all the hinges yesterday. So then I came in this morning, I patched with some wood filler. Now we're going to unmount everything he did yesterday, which I know will bring him so much joy. Should be fun, should be a good time. I think we're going to have to run to Lowe's and also get more wood filler and more paint. That's the plan, this is the van. Let's go. One of our favorite sayings during any van build is it has to get worse before it can get better. I patched all that yesterday. I patched the whole bed. So really the only thing we had to patch this morning was the kitchen unit, which is obviously in that state. And that back floor to ceiling cabinet. There you go, paint department. Not paint department yet, sand department. Working our way down to bare bones. Yep. Just pulling off all the stuff I did yesterday. Part of the process. Backs. Yeah, really open space here. It's kind of weird. And we're gonna prep everything and get ready for paint now. Yeah, it kind of feels like working backwards, but we've got a bone yard over here. This is what a deconstructed van looks like. We'll run to those, get more paint after we patch all this. And it shows you how much uh, all the cabinetry makes up. Yeah. You tired? Yeah. Aw, he's tired. prep the shop for paint we can make some dinner and then we can paint so that's the plan all right it's looking a little bit like day five in here again we're getting some flashbacks but we promise it is day 15. yeah we're prepping for paint so we pulled everything out the last few days i know have been kind of a drag but that's just because we've been assembling and on a disassembling and all that stuff so it is day 15 or rather night 15 and we are going to be doing some painting tonight so that's what's on the big agenda for this period of time. We're gonna try to get all this stuff painted, which there is a lot of cabinets and drawers and stuff like that out here. Let's get into that. A little working stock action. Welcome to my paint booth. I'll get this boy started up for you guys.
Here we are. Oh yeah, just 30 more hours to go. Just painting. Yeah, it's not bad. We just keep looking at the huge pile of things that still need to be painted. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm so <laughs> All right, I will it. say, so something I want to clear up here in case the people don't believe, because we had some we had some doubters last time. We had some doubters. We got the last one done in 25 working days, okay? And it ended up being about like 30, 31, 32 days total. So we took some days off and did some half days and stuff like that. This one, none of that. None of that. This is the the fifteenth consecutive twenty-four hour period of time that we've been working on this van. Actually, what time is it? It's like it, one a.m. It might be the sixteenth. It is the sixteenth. It's past so it's, midnight. It's day sixteen. Just like to point that out. No, no, no rest days here. No break days here. <laughs> none of that. <laughs> Catch you See you tomorrow. <laughs> Catch you in 10 hours. Good morning. Welcome back to day 16. Obviously, it's just a lot more painting, kind of mindless, which is nice at this point in the build. We're enjoying ourselves. So hopefully our last can of paint lasts us all the way through. It's not gonna be that interesting. We'll do a bunch of time lapses, but other than that, it is what it looks like. Okay, so right now what we're working on, Scarlett's got some faces going on here. I've got some drawers we're working on, and then we have all our big stuff done. So, kitchen units painted, bed units painted, upper cabinets are painted, the big drawer in the back is painted, that big section's painted, and here's like most of the kitchen cabinetry right here. This is our favorite way to paint these vans because we can pull everything out, we can get really, really clean paint jobs on them, and then install everything. to see we really really thought we might make it but lo and behold we did not so the fast paced build is crazy because you you have to like compartmentalize and only focus on certain things at a time otherwise you just lose your mind so <sighs> back to lens got the paint and I think we've come to the consensus that we're just gonna finish painting today and not try to mount anything we're tired. We're tired. We're tired. Uh, the last few days have really kind of got started to get to us. I think we're basically just gonna finish this up, let everything dry in here overnight, and then come back tomorrow in the morning and mount everything up, and then start on the water and electrical system as well. So, is that right, baby? That's right. We'll catch you guys when everything's painted. She's our moral support. She comes in every now and then and uh, reminds us that she hasn't been fed dinner yet. You know you get dinner when we go to Lewis. That's when you get dinner. When we leave the shop. Not until we leave. Okay, baby? Thank you for keeping up our morale. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all that you do. It's one of those days. <laughs> We're on the way out, folks. The final piece. The final stroke. <laughs> that wasn't needed, but <laughs> I felt it was needed for a dramatic effect. This is it. This is it, man. The last, last look, piece. In look the at all this stuff we just painted. I feel like I'm walking through like a graveyard. Yeah. Paint hands. Paint hands. Check this out. We got our tile. We're gonna do something funky. I'm not gonna tell you guys too much about it because you're gonna see, but. All right, so that's where we're at. The paint is done. 
I think we're gonna install tomorrow and we're gonna start on our water and electrical and I promise we're gonna take you guys through that. Uh, sorry we haven't filmed much today, but like painting is pretty basic. I don't know what we would have found. So. No tips and tricks specifically. Just get it done. Yeah. Yeah. Scarlett's a big painter. She's the, uh, she's the pro. If you guys have any questions, hit us up on Instagram at Lewis the Van. Scarlett yeah. runs that. By the way, Scarlett runs the Instagram. I don't, I don't really mess with it. So <laughs> when you're talking to someone on Instagram, it's Scarlett. It's not me. Very rarely. Occasionally I'll answer something, but. Is your arm getting tired? Ah, bye guys. Bye.